All right, this is my uh, first place I'm going to dig. I'm on vacation. I'm uh, up near the Oregon-California border in a place called Crescent City, which is not far from the Oregon border. But I've driven past this place lots and lots of times and wanted to detect here. And so it's a place called Whaler Island Groin. I have the CTX 3030 and the Extreme Scoop. And we're gonna try it here for a few hours before I, before I leave. I've been up along the edge already. You can see my tracks up and down there going across the beach. Finally, besides a bag full of trash, I got something. I got some kids toys, three of them. Number 67 motorcycle, which is pretty cool. Never found one of those before. I like that. MXS number 67. I don't know what kind it is. Looks like a dirt bike to me. With numbers on it, it's a dirt bike. And uh, this uh, superhero here, Captain Good Guy, somebody. I don't know if that's his motorcycle. I don't think he fits on there. Maybe side saddle. And uh, whatever this little Pooh Bear thing is, I don't know what it is. It says something back there. 2010 Mattel, made in China land. One of those Hello Bear things. I don't know what it is. But that's kind of cool. Three toys out of one hole right there. And uh, other than a bag of trash, but I'm about halfway through this, a third of the way through. So anyways, we'll get back after it. Three toys, nice. All right, I'm done. You can see all along the water's edge down here where I gridded all this out. I, I did this whole beach. Is all I found was those toys over there by that by that stick right there. All right, I'll do a roundup on the hood of my truck. And all right, here it is. All kinds of trash, all aluminum, except this is stainless steel, played off of something. I'm not sure. I don't know. Toys, well, that was the best of it, all in one hole. And, and the motorcycle even has shock absorbers there. All right, that's it for this hunt for today. Up at the top of the bay in Crescent City. All right. Got the CTX 3030, the Extreme Scoop, and I'm at the South Jetty of the Rogue River in Gold Beach, Oregon. And I'm gonna try it down here in this little bowl area at low tide and see what people have dropped. There's a lot of agates on this beach. Just because it's my first target and I've walked all the way across through there, from up there at the truck. All right, I got a target right here, my very first one. 1240, two inches, right there. Well, I don't know what it is, but there it is. Piece of metal with a screw stuck in it. Yeehaw, first target, a piece of metal with a screw stuck in it. All right. I did all that down there to that rock pile all along here, out as far as the water would let me go. Just that one little piece of scrap metal with a screw in it. Okay. Gold's Beach, from right down here along the water's edge, clear up to the rocks, along the rocks, up through the through the uh, driftwood up here a little bit, up along the road, down along the road right here. Uh, lots of trash, a couple of eyeball 
plastic jugs I just picked up. One, two, three, four cans. This, uh, whatever that is, it's latch looking thing. I think it's a latch of some sort. Got a little bit of metal in there. This might be a bicycle uh, foot peg thing. I'm not sure. They slide their toes in there. I, I don't know. M maybe. This dug up piece of whatever it is with a screw in it. Fishing sinker. And two pull tabs. That's it. All right. Gold Beach was a bust. On to the next one. Right here's the hunt at Gold's Beach at the South Jetty Beach. Hour and 15 minutes. All right, I'm in Coos Bay. The ocean is just right through them trees right there, just 20 feet. I have the CTX 3030 and my Ukrainian scoop and I'm going to go try and see if I can't find something on Coos Bay Beach. I'll just go across here up to the bluff, maybe along the bluff, and then come back over a little bit further and see what happens. I'm not expecting much. All right, first decent thing I found on this beach. And I walked almost all the way to the river right there, or the creek, whatever you want to call it. All the way from down there, you see my jig joggy tracks there, but uh, yeah, man, I finally found something. A little bit. I don't know. It was a low number. I don't know. For being in the salt sand. Sure not very rusted. He was down there about three inches. Okay. My first good finds on vacation. Piece of bling. Well, I'm gonna call it bling for now, but it might be real. I don't know. No rust on the bottom pieces. It'll have to wait till I get back to the trailer till I can look at it better. Coos Bay Beach. All right, here it is for Coos Bay. Just that gold earring. Uh, eyeball, this juice can or jug, this uh, lure, angel wing. These two cans were eyeball. One, two, three. All the rest of this stuff was dug up. This uh, shovel, uh, a zinc penny, zinc penny. And the best of it was the uh, earring. I still can't tell if it's real or not, but it looks real. I'll have to test it when I get home. But for now, I'm just calling it gold with a question mark. Sunset, Coos Bay. Harbor Master's house from 1934. It's now a bed and breakfast. Commander's Beach House, it's called. Well, that didn't last long. The uh, l l lady came out and uh, forbade me to uh, go in the grass right across a little way here. <laughs> That's a really old Canadian penny. I don't know if you can see that or not, but right out of that four inch hole right there, it was a quarter and a dime. But now I got a Canadian penny, old. Uh, I'll finish this little spot over right here. Out of that two inch hole right there, there's the CTX. I'm under this big old piney tree. I mean, it's a big one. It's been here for a while, right next in front of the commander's house right there. An eagle on an anchor. Yeah, man. My oldest button yet. I'm real happy about that one. 
I'm not a button guy, but I'm real happy about that button. I'm still not sure how old that button is, but 1934 was the house was built. Uh, 14 pennies, two, two dimes, a Canadian penny, and a quarter. A couple of those, some other trash, some foil. But the best of it by far is the eagle and anchor button. Two piece. Got two holes in the back. But uh, that's pretty old. I, I don't know exactly how old yet, but I will figure it out. Anybody else know? Anybody can tell me? Write it down in the comments, yeah. All right, I'm out here in this uh, KOA campground. A lot of people still sleeping, so I gotta be quiet. But uh, I'm going to go out there in that little tot lot right out there. And there's a volleyball court right around the other side, the back side of my trailer there. I'm just going to take the CTX and go out there. And... All right, here it is from the, from the tot lot. There's the list. Five ratables. Got the eyeball trash. Three cans deep couple of those three pennies three dimes and two nickels that's it all right here's the trail i went on this morning in the tot lot in the volleyball court hour and six minutes only four rideables there's the list of today's finds 20 coins this is the trail aiden and i went on Hour and 20 minutes, two rideables. This is where Aiden and I went all up through this grass through here, all up along here, all this, all along the grass, back up to that big tree over there, all along the road here. And this is what we found. There's a two, four, two, four, six eight ten pennies a dime and a quarter so we did pretty good two copper pennies maybe that's one that might oh there's three copper pennies good okay there it is folks aiden and i we did we cleaned up he's a pirate there ain't no doubt about it he is a pirate all right see you all later bye